One of the most recognizable people in boxing history, Floyd Mayweather, recently shared his thoughts and observations on the much-awaited fight between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. Roy Jones Jr. offered his predictions on the outcome of the Garcia vs. Haney match. The good thing about it is for two times as amateurs, they both are well for me with one another, right? That means that you probably won't get no early run. In addition to revealing the critical elements that may influence the result of the Haney vs. Garcia fight, Roy gave Kingry priceless advice, and Jones Jr. went into detail about why he didn't expect an early round knockout. He also highlighted the two fighters' acquaintance with one another, noting that they had sparred several times throughout their amateur careers and that they had a deep grasp of one another's fighting style and tactics. You probably won't get too much early round action. It'll be action, but it shouldn't be that we can expect. Uh, the longer the fight goes, the more we're going to figure out who has, uh, um, who has grown as a professional and who has... Roy had hoped that the contest would not conclude in the first round, he thought that fighting for a longer time would be a good way to gauge how far each fighter had come in their careers. Professional boxing is different from amateur boxing. And when you start to find that out is when the rounds start to get people all you find out who developed and who has not developed as a professional. And that's what this fight's going In the battle against Davis, Garcia mostly depended on his hook, according to Roy Jones Jr.'s evaluation. Nevertheless, Davis was well-versed in King Rice tactics, so Ryan was left in a tight position and eventually lost by knockout. What you need to do is, you gotta use more weapons. You know, you can't just depend on the left hook, because everybody knows about your left hook now. You feel me? So if it's just your left hook, that should not work, because like Tank said, all you got is left hook, you're not gonna beat it. And he did it. So once again, if Devin understands that, but like I said, he and Devin know each other better than he and Tank did. So, you never can tell, but I think you should develop. Former WBA Intercontinental Super Lightweight Champion Kenneth Sims Jr. has sparred with Devin and offered his thoughts on what he thinks will happen in the ring for the upcoming clash. Haney Sims Jr. has a thorough awareness of both the nuances of boxing and Haney's ability. Indeed, I sparred with Devin as he was preparing for his Cambosos battle, Sims Jr. said. Ryan and I have never entered there. Ryan is quick, explosive, and has considerable punching power. But I believe Devin should win following the defeat to Gervin Davis in April of last year. Ryan Garcia said that since he was becoming tired of Tank, he battled valiantly until being knocked out. Kenneth Sims Jr. thinks that when it comes to making important choices, Haney's ring instincts will prevail over Garcia's. He stated, I believe he's more technical. When it comes to decision-making in the ring, he's smarter. In that tank battle, Ryan himself said as much. It all started, he claimed, when he became bored and decided to simply go nuts. Devin will most likely outthink him even more, in my opinion. Sims Jr. said that Haney and Garcia had fought several times as amateurs, but Sims Jr. preferred the dream over King Rai because of Haney's ring smarts. As a result, the 30-year-old was prepared to answer when asked whether fans should expect a knockout on April 20. I think Devin has the ability to stop him just like Ryan has the ability to stop him. And it's boxing. You have no idea what is going to happen until you get in there. Haney Sims Jr. said, that would be a surprise, when asked whether he would be shocked to see Garcia outbox. Even if Devin stopped him, I wouldn't be as shocked. In boxing, I don't anticipate a one-punch knockout. Some of the questionable things that Ryan Garcia posted raised concerns about his mental health within the community. Later on, at the request of the NYSADXS, the 25-year-old even had a compulsory mental health evaluation. A lot of people thought Haney should have eliminated Garcia by now, but what does Kenneth Sims Jr. think? I believe it's boxing, he added, where everyone can punch in 8 ohms gloves. Anybody may be eliminated at any moment. You must thus continue to practice defense. Sean Porter speculated that Garcia may have been setting himself up with his recent suspicious comments and erratic conduct, which have prompted concerns about his mental health. Porter said that he believes Garcia is ready for his junior welterweight bout against Devin Haney, the current champion. Ryan may have experienced and knows from way back then he can tap into. Right. It ain't nothing he could have tapped into against Tank. Right. We hear whatever happens, happens. I got caught. It is what it is. But he's tasted the speed. He's, he's seen the speed. He's tasted the power from, from Devin. I think he's going to come to the ring comfortable against Devin, confident against Devin. He got Derrick James in the corner now. So they working 
fundamentals and, and basics. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that shoulder roll is not gonna be there. If it, if it is, it's gonna be cleaned up. Guess what? He got with Mayweather for a little bit of time. You know what I mean? Right. So I think he coming to the ring. Enter Michael J. White, an actor and skilled martial fighter who provides a critical white question Garcia's wild acts effectiveness in a recent interview. In an interview with DG Vlad, he warned that Garcia has to make significant progress in the ring and that these distractions won't make up for it. As fight night draws near, what is the situation with Ryan Garcia? Michael Jai White shared his opinions on Ryan Garcia's mentality and present form. I believe Devin Haney will pull that out, he added. Ryan seems to be overworked. I believe he was rather contrived. He is, after all, a handsome person. He packs a really impressive punch. Although he has authority, I believe Devin revealed a lot of things that he has to address. When the conversation went to Garcia's recent strange conduct, White said that he didn't know anything about it. I have no knowledge about it. After becoming aware of Garcia's unsettling social media postings, in which he claimed to have been abducted and to have been engaged in strange situations, he confessed. White.
you to know that I'm not gonna, this fight is going on, nobody can stop it, nor Fight Hot, nor Floyd Mayweather, nobody's gonna stop this fight, because I'm perfectly fine, and 